This video is part one of five. I will go over how to set up RealBand the first time you use it. The first time you open RealBand, there will be a message asking if you want to use an ASIO audio driver. If you are not sure what that means, just click no. Then you will need to set up your MIDI drivers. The default options are good for most situations. However, if you have a hardware synthesizer, MIDI module, or MIDI controller, you should select it under Output and or Input Driver. Just click OK, then click Yes to continue. Then RealBand will need to know where your Band in the Box directory is. This is because RealBand has automatic accompaniment features, like Band in the Box, such as generating real tracks, real drums, or MIDI styles. All of the needed files are always located inside your Band in the Box directory or in another folder within that directory. The default settings here will usually be correct. C colon slash BB slash is usually the file path for the Band in the Box directory. One reason why it might be different is if you chose a different location when installing Band in the Box. Or if you are using Band in the Box on an external hard drive, then the drive letter will be different. For example, E colon slash BB instead of C colon slash BB. But whatever location you chose for Band in the Box needs to be the same in these three fields. For example, if your Band in the Box directory is not called BB and is instead called BIAB 2014, then make sure it says that exactly in all three fields. For real tracks, the name of the Band in the Box directory should always be followed by a backslash, then real tracks, and another backslash. For real drums, the name of the Band in the Box directory should always be followed by a backslash, then drums, and another backslash. And if you own a copy of Power Tracks and it is installed on your computer, you need to specify its directory here. This is optional. It is only required for using the TC Helicon Audio Harmonies module. When you are sure that everything is set correctly, then click OK. To make sure that your audio and MIDI setup is working, I recommend that you click on the Open button and open this file in RealBand folder called Latency Adjust. Just select it and click Open. Just click Play and make sure you can hear both tracks. They should both sound like two different pianos. So mute one track and then unmute it and mute the other. If you can hear both tracks, then you are ready to use RealBand. In part two, I will go over how to make a song. 